you have no idea for a young man of 920 in the middle of the forest in the arundhati cave uh suddenly face to face with something which looks like a snake but speaks like a it's like a comic book there are many worlds we it's a height of arrogance to think that in this little uh, in this whole stellar system of which we are just like a particle of earth mm-hmm. to say that life only exists in this little earth is i think a very arrogant attitude for a human being there's a yogi named nityananda of ganeshpuri who was considered to be from nagaloka many snake lords have lived here in human form displaying superhuman capacities bhagwan nityananda of ganeshpuri was one such believed to be from nagaloka and not of this earth he was first found on a village pathway as an infant protected by a snake nobody knows who his actual parents were or where he came from Nobody can say for certain the origin of such great masters. We can only make assumptions based on our perceptions and awareness. Nithyananda used to spontaneously perform miracles while he walked the earth. One instance was when he stood at a bus stop waiting for a bus, but the bus didn't stop for him. When the bus reached the next stop, he was discovered standing there as well. And when the bus reached the third stop, he was there too. The driver of the bus was terribly perturbed at seeing Nithyananda everywhere. After that, he stopped the bus at the next stop and invited him to board it. He was just proving a point, waking up people to the existence of a certain dimension that they could also achieve if they shed the bondage of the mind to reach higher realms in subtlety. Not that he wanted to impress people through such acts of miracles, but how do you make people understand a message if it's not delivered with a surprise? Yes, I I there are realms which are not known to normal human beings to mankind and where astronomers telescopes still cannot reach because they may be light years away however the mind uh, the the subtle uh, part of our being which uh, has nothing to do with time and space can go there i don't think anybody is going to reach there at some point in a rocket because it's so many uh, uh, what do you call that uh, time years away or what like years away light years away. so but it's a fact that such universes exist because it is my experience eh? and i've been there and i've seen beings there uh, who uh, are nagas the nature of reality and the nagaloka our universe is far more complex and diverse than what meets the eye while our technology can reveal aspects of the milky way and our solar system It's limited to detecting only the grossest, most visible materials that our senses can perceive. But there are subtler planes of existence within our universe, hidden from our ordinary perception. One such realm is the Naga Loka, the world of snakes. This world, though part of our Milky Way, exists beyond the reach of our telescopes and instruments. The Naga Loka is home to highly advanced beings who have played a significant role in guiding humanity's evolution. These beings often perceived as serpents by human eyes are in fact luminescent entities with the power to assume any form at will nagas and their interaction with humanity the nagas have a long history of assisting and guiding mankind in ancient times they came to earth to share their superior wisdom with humans who were meditating to find the ultimate truth and evolving into a substantial civilization this connection is reflected in various religious and cultural symbols. For instance, in Hinduism, Lord Shiva is often depicted with a snake around his neck, and Lord Mahavishnu is shown reclining on a great serpent. These images, while rich in symbolism, also hint at the profound influence of Naga beings on human spiritual development. The Nagas have been instrumental in explaining the multiple aspects of original creation to mankind. They interpreted the dimensions of Parabrahma, the Supreme Father, and brought knowledge of the Supreme to levels that humans could understand. It was the Nagas who taught us about Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva as embodiments of creation, existence, and dissolution. There are worlds where there are beings who don't look like us. And the Naga Loka is a world populated by highly evolved beings who are in the form of serpents. 
I mean, for me, it's not. Uh, I have no doubt. No, you have. Oh, you've seen it. So I've you have seen, no doubt. I have no doubt. <laughs> not only that, I haven't written about it, but later on, I had two visitations to the Nagaloka. I have seen that it's populated. The nature of Nagas. Contrary to common perception, Nagas are not actually snakes, as we know them. They are highly evolved beings who choose to appear in serpent form when interacting with humans. This choice serves two purposes. First, it ensures they are left undisturbed, as humans generally fear snakes. Second, the serpent form represents flexibility and fluidity, reflecting their adaptable nature. In reality, Nagas are luminescent beings with the power to take any form at will. They are masters of energy mechanics, able to manipulate elements to create any desired form. This ability is similar to what we've seen in great masters like Sai Baba, Neem Karoli Baba, and many other masters who could manifest in different forms to meet their devotees. The Naga world exists at a level of subtlety beyond our ordinary perception. It can only be seen through deep meditation, by visiting their planet through the astral body, or if the Nagas choose to reveal it. They have the power to mask their world from potential invaders, making it invisible even to beings from other worlds, unless they attain the same level of subtlety. Naga influence on human knowledge and spirituality. In 1945, a farmer in Egypt found hidden clay jars. Inside were 13 books made of leather and papyrus. These special books were about to change how we think about history. These secret writings, believed to be from early Gnostic Christians, shared interesting ideas about how genes were changed to shape human evolution. In these writings, it was said that there were alien, reptile creatures called archons that ruled Earth for a long time. Many old cultures talk about snake-like creatures. In places like Southeast Asia and India, they are called Nagas. The interesting part is that the secret writings talked about the Garden of Eden as a special lab, where the reptile archons tried to change human evolution to be more like them. In the old days, Earth had a strange link with a planet named Naglok. This planet had wise, serpent-like beings called nag -deftas. They taught humans important things, and humans started to worship the snakes, to show respect for the Nagas' advanced teachings. The Nagas have been pivotal in transferring advanced knowledge to the human brain. Much of what we consider human inventions, or original thoughts, may have originated from these serpent guides. The Naga Loka and its characteristics. The Naga Loka, while part of our Milky Way, exists in a dimension that our current technology cannot detect. It's a physical world, but one made of subtler elements than our own. The beings there are described as luminescent, sometimes even considered angelic, due to their benevolent nature. Nagas have various methods of travel, including what we might perceive as UFOs. They can manipulate their form to become almost elementless, allowing them to move through our atmosphere without friction. This ability to alter their physical state enables them to visit Earth undetected by our instruments. You can't go there with your physical body. You, so you are teleported? No. Okay, what word would you use then? <laughs> mm, you see, human beings have not only the physical body, but they also have a subtle body which fits into the physical. Okay. And looks very much like the physical, except a little more glorified than the physical. And it can, with proper training, leave the physical and travel. Uh, and most people, all people actually do that unconsciously in the night when they go to sleep. If you are clairvoyant by any chance, if you look in the night, on a clear night, you see little tiny threads coming out, lit threads coming out from every house and moving up somewhere. Historical and cultural references to Nagas. The influence of Nagas can be seen across various cultures and religious traditions. One, in Hinduism, the Sri Naga Raja Gayatri, the Divine Serpent, was used for protection against poisons, skin ailments, and even to overcome curses. 2. In Buddhism's history, Nagarjuna, a wise and enlightened teacher, wasn't satisfied with his students' progress. So, he set out to find deeper teachings that could help them improve. Nagarjuna discovered that Buddha had given the 100,000-verse Prajna Paramitha Sutra to the Nagas. This is a collection of scriptures that teach how to reach ultimate emptiness. Nagarjuna decided to retrieve this valuable collection of wisdom. Using his cities, Nagarjuna traveled to the land of the Nagas. 
In the Naga world, Nagarjuna shared his teachings and wisdom with the Naga king, hoping to receive the precious text in return. The Naga king gave Nagarjuna the special text, but kept the last two parts. These last two secret chapters are still hidden in our human world. 3. The Mahabharata, an ancient Indian epic, tells of Nagas helping the warrior Bhim by saving him from a magical lake and granting him superhuman strength and immunity to venom. 4. In Mahablipuram, India, we find depictions of Nagas transforming from snakes to near-human forms. 5. Naga-like beings appear in cultures worldwide under different names. Amaru in Peru, Nakash in ancient Israel, and in the serpent mounds of Ohio in the United States. You can see their impact on the land and even from the sky. Even in modern times, there are accounts of encounters with Naga beings. One such account tells of a man in Delhi, who, after expressing a desire to see a deity from Naga Loka, encountered a snake of pure golden color in the Himalayas. The snake vanished as suddenly as it appeared, leaving the man with a profound sense of blessing. The story of the Nagas and their influence on human civilization is a reminder of the vast, unseen realms that exist beyond our ordinary perception. It challenges us to expand our understanding of reality and to recognize the profound wisdom that has shaped our evolution as a species.